<laughs> Where'd you get that from? It's handy, wasn't it? Put it on. No, what is it? That's the he can't hear because he's got his. Put your headphones on. Why? Was it? You'll love it. it. You'll love it. it. Yeah. That's magnificent. Yeah. That's now Ricky Gervais's theme tune. Yeah. Every time we start the show, we should just start with that. Win, Ricky, win. <laughs> Carl, do you just want to have a dig at me? Because it's <laughs> coming up to two o'clock, and you've yeah. not really put a lot of uh, effort in today, slagging yeah, me off. He's done it on purpose. No, he's he not done it on purpose. He's, 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 just, he's just an honest northerner, and he can't lie. He's like George Washington, but without the wooden teeth. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think your heart's in it anymore, either, Carl. I was all right today, but Steve's really dragged me down. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's. let's wait, wait, let's wait, wait, I just need to know why. No, do you know, like, yeah. people are being miserable around you. Yep. I, I was full yep. of beans when I came in. Yep, 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 yeah, but you yep. got to remember last week, you were really miserable, and that really wound me up. Yeah, because he was dumb so to do stuff. Because, right? you know, he'd been let down, and they were worried about yeah, the next show. You were in a terrible mood. Yeah, yeah. look at me like you were. Songs. I wasn't, like, going off and lying on the settee, looking ill, <laughs> talking in that voice. Oh, he's done you again. I said, just now, being quite friendly. Carl? Carl, have you ever tried to get into the monarch for free? Because I'll be honest, mate, it's not going to happen for you. <laughs> Come out with me, mate, you got a quid off. <laughs> Alright? Oh. Uh, well, you can get in places in Camden for free. Yeah, I'm alright, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's done you. Do, do, do you not care about the job? I mean, I've got to ask because, you know what I mean, if I was in charge, I'd worry about your motivation or. Because we. Yesterday, we were trying to work out what you enjoyed doing, and we got to, uh, Manchester United and moaning. And that is that is the two we came up with. I don't with. know where you get the moaning thing. You're from. always whinging about what? Everything. Wh when? When did I last have a moan? Uh, just before we came on air. Right. And why was that? <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't remember. Because well, we were in good mood. We were in a good mood, me and Rick. I'll tell you why. Go on. Because you brought a song in at ten to one. Yeah. With a load of effing and jeffing in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And saying, can you edit this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. that's your job. <gasps> you could have brought it in yesterday. No, I couldn't. Why not? I hadn't thought of it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but why, but why, but why are you whinging? That's your job. And I didn't come in ten minutes before, it was a good twenty minutes before. It just took you ages because you were whinging and moaning. Mm. To even get started. Uh, been very quiet week. Uh, been checking, uh, I was looking in books last night and stuff. Uh, so Is there any monkey news? I, I've, I've got some, but just because it's not that good, something else I found out that I thought I'd share with you. Go on. I was looking in the Guinness Book of Records, right, because I thought they'll have something in there about monkeys or something. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's a little monkey, I think it lives in Asia, right? Uh, there's loads of them live in Asia. Might and, just be travelling, but yeah. And, um, something I found out, I don't know if they've got it right, and that's why I want to bring it up. Uh, apparently, it's the mammal, right, that's got sort of the, the pointiest eyes. Eyes that pop out of the red. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> the thing is, right, <laughs> I thought that's interesting. Yeah. Apparently it's, it's, it's the biggest with the sort of goggle eye type thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, go on. Apparently, they, they come out of the red, um, 1.6 centimetres. 1.6 centimetres? What, you mean they protrude? Yeah. They protrude from the head at 1.6. Okay. What, how, how long? Have you got a ruler, Rick? Right? <laughs> <laughs> 1.6. I'll tell you, I'd be a little bit annoyed if the monkeys beat me. <laughs> well, I don't think it has. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Is there anything we can? I mean, what's one point six? Can you? <laughs> it's about drop your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, um, well, oh, well, three quarters of an inch. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have they got it right or what? <laughs> Maybe I should come down to Monkey World with you next week. Uh. uh. So anyway, so that's that's not the monkey news. That's just something that cropped up. And <laughs> sure, I do know once when we were playing pool in the office. I think Lucy was your partner. Yeah, it was me and Ash versus you and Lucy, and um, you were having trouble because his glasses kept slipping down. So Lucy pushed his glasses up his nose, but the glasses touched his eye. 
Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he started it. He started it. Well, you're the one who joined in. <laughs> no, I know, and I feel, I'm, I feel bad now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he makes me nervous when he goes, yeah. It's not player record. No, I'm just trying to think about which part of your fat, middle-aged physique I can pick on. <laughs> the tits would be a good Yeah, stuff. yeah. Oh, the belly. Sure. Oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> oh, that, that's, what is that? How did you meet your girlfriend? <laughs> through work. <laughs> what, through her work? <laughs> what, you, you found out and said you- work have the same place. Oh, you're right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. You're quite an enigma, aren't you? Could you give us more on that? <laughs> at work. You met her at work. What, she came in selling sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> She was going through the bins outside. <laughs> what, what do you mean you married? Why are you having an attack on me? You're I'm the one who's sad and lonely. No, oh, having... he's done you again! He's done you Yeah, again. but what, what I thought was interesting was no. I just scratched at him and he just went mental. Yeah, no, It's like a bear caught in a trap. It's, it's funny, isn't it? You'll never learn. Carl... No, I was just interested to find out what the story was because it might be a really romantic story. Well, it's, it's not. All right, jeez. I, I mean, love the fact he doesn't want to talk about, about his you, love I, affair. I, I was thinking about you in the week and like... <laughs> Does it worry you? I mean, you sort of joke about it now, and we're talking about it in the office, you know, like, oh, is, is Steve really touchy about the way he looks? And oh, what's this? Where's that come from? He's um, done it again. He's done you again. I was walking on the other night, and I was thinking about it. And do you <laughs> worry that when you're old, you will be on your own? Oh, <laughs> you did start it though, didn't you? Well, Carl, I'm glad you brought this up. <laughs> because no, no, because I, I mean, for me. You know, a, a lightweight, frothy entertainment show <laughs> on XFM on a Saturday afternoon is exactly the place <laughs> <laughs> where I want to discuss uh, the desperate, lonely future that's inevitably uh, coming my way. Oh, God. I'll I, I tell you what will cheer you up and forget yeah. all that. A bit of embrace. Oh, oh one of the most hated bands. Oh. Do you know when I left the pub in a bit of a mood because yeah. I, I just fed up with not getting anything done? Yeah. Walking down the road, I was thinking, how can I get out of this? How can I stop having to work with them? I'm thinking, I wonder if I, if I leave, I wonder if they'll be funny and they'll go, and then my boss will be giving me stick. I'm thinking, how long, how much notice have I got to give out? And all this is going through my mind. I'm walking home and I got in, said to Suzanne, I'm sick of it. She's going, you need to do it when I get a new kitchen. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, but how big does the kitchen need to be? I was saying, do we need a big kitchen? Can we get a small one? Have we got enough for a small kitchen? Do we need so many cupboards? Can we just have wood instead of steel? All this, try to get out of doing this. Yeah. It's always, just, I always feel like, you know, because I, I like to think that I'm not perhaps as bad as him. Yeah, no. You annoy me in different ways. Like what? How does he annoy you? Well, stuff, stuff that, you know, I come up with ideas, say yeah. cheap as chimps. Yeah. Uh, rock Busters springs yeah. to mind. Yeah. Uh, 15 like Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> 15 Taiwan. Let's just remind people what 15 Taiwan was. It was a little feature that I wanted to give a run, you know, give it a little run, see if people like it. Uh, the premise we'll, being? No, there's no premise, it's just a title. No, we were gonna get 15 sort of ornaments, you'd explain them, and then people would call up and say, <laughs> that I'm from Taiwan. <laughs> Carl, you just explained why I didn't think that was a good idea. Yeah, By explaining the good- the No, so, you know the funny thing is, Steve, right, I was walking down Regent Street on Monday, Walk past one of these big stores, right, and they've got all famous quote, quotes on the windows, right, yeah. and one of them was something like, an absurd idea is often a great idea. Yeah. Do you know who said that? Go on. Einstein. Yes. Which made me wonder, if you were his mate, would he ever have done E equals MC squared? <laughs> or would you have said, don't bother with that, it's not gonna work? <laughs> Because that's all you seem to do, everything I come up with, yeah. you put down. Yeah. Well, that's one thing, he's negative, right, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't okay. know why he's, he is. What well, else? He messes me about, I get him concert tickets for stuff, and, yeah. and you say, oh, I didn't bother going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is annoying. You come in, you know, five minutes to go with tracks that need editing. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. little bag, yeah. that bag that was free. Yeah, you got a free bag today, an yeah. XFM little rucksack thing. Yeah. yeah. You were like, oh, what's this, what's this rubbish? Yeah. Ricky said, I'll have it, they're great. You yeah. said, no, I want it. Yeah. Well, it's so, free, I need it. Yeah. Um, i give that as a well, gift or something. So, so, I mean, I think on reflection, Steve is probably a little bit more annoying than me. Mm. <laughs> I, I won't go that far. <laughs> you are, you are annoying. If I had to go away for a week somewhere, yeah. if it was a quiet place- well, you are again, aren't you? That's two holidays you had this week, this year, I mean. If it was a busy place, I'd probably go with you, cos people, do you know what I mean, staring at me all the time and that, if I'm walking around with Steve. <laughs>
No, I'm just... <laughs> Can I draw up a list of reasons I don't like you, Carl? Just being honest. Well, I'll tell you, because the list of reasons I don't like you is incredibly long. I'm getting longer. It's the same. Do you want another snack? Okay. By the way, Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM 104.9. So, a few more shows. And I, I, I hope Sony are happy. Mm. They should encourage, you know, we've only been radio, you know, a couple of years. Exactly. They should encourage young, ta you encourage young talent yeah. like you. Yeah. Instead of giving it to Radio 1 and Radio 2 yeah. and... The old war horses. We just had a quick email. I wonder if you could answer this. It's James from NW1. He says, Ricky, is Carl going to be on this week's show? Please let me know as I may listen if he's not. <laughs> Um, sadly, oh, he is here. Oh I mean, dear. people are already turning against you, Carl, because they've seen what's happened. Yeah. I think they've probably realised that we've I sort think of we gave you too much. Enough. I think, exactly, I think we've got a spoiled sort of kid in our hands. It's sort of like, you know, we, we knew, we knew how bad he was, but we were trying to sort of bring him out of his shell a little bit. Yeah. Encourage, you've got to encourage sort of, um, children like Carl. Well, yeah, exactly. To sort exactly. of fend for themselves. Mm. Um, but, uh, I like the fact that Dickie Anderson had that wonderful ran. I mean, it was an articulate email, it was quite long, and he must have typed it immediately. I'm thinking, because he's a fan of the show and he, he thinks I'm a, you know, a genius, we need a PA. Sure. Don't we? Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon he'd come and work for us? Um, well, he can't be any worse than what we've already got. <laughs> I um, know. You know. So, there you go then, we're giving up, we're giving up radio. We're gonna concentrate on television. Carl's gonna probably go back to what, your little... Just doing your well, sound. The thing I won a silver for at the Sony's. Funny that, mm. isn't it? Oh, you won a silver, did you? I got a silver, yeah. Oh, for yeah. Doing, what was that for? for doing the proper job that I do here in the week. Oh, well, no, it's two of you for a start. Yeah. Well, there's three of us. Can't even get a bronze. Now, who's the weak link? <laughs> right? Well, a bit weird, isn't it? let's get. Let's look. Let's get, let's not argue. We haven't got many shows to do. To be fair, though, this this show is, is. I think it's more to do with the fact that you talk on this show that has brought us down. Right, I haven't said anything hardly today. No, well, this is an award-winning show, potentially. <laughs> we'll add this one in for yeah. next year. <laughs> oh. If you could just keep shtum, we might have a chance. Alright. Well, coming up, right. Carl. Let's put it behind us. Okay. Let's draw a line under it. Stephen co-wrote and, uh, directed The Office and Extras with me. Um, you may have seen him in Extras as the agent. Uh, you may have seen him briefly in The Office. He is a goggle-eyed freak. You referring to the character there, are you, or...? Yeah, whatever. Thanks. Uh, um, no, well, <laughs> no, no, it's just a little bit I'm just trying to paint a picture for people at Christmas. Sure. Steve. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say goggle eye. I think goggle eye freak's harsh. You know, these are pretty, these are designer specs. And, uh, right. yeah, admittedly I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tall, but, uh. Six foot seven. Yeah, but let's not have a go at that. Carl, we've got more like this later. I think we should play a record. We've done yeah, introductions. Pop a little song on. But do you remember well, the first time you saw Steve? Well, let, let's, let's pop a little song on on that, all right? Chat about it in a bit. Uh, uh -huh. Bruce Springsteen. Bit of Bruce Springsteen. Now, uh, it's difficult to describe Carl, I just think you'll have to get to know him over the next, um, two hours. But, um, we have, um, uh, taken the liberty of getting some stuff ready for you if you want to find out more about him. If you go to rickygervais.com, we've put up a special little page. Go into Who's Carl, and we've got a little biography up of him, and loads of pictures. And you have never seen a head rounder. Than he looks like Mr. Spoon from Button Moon. <laughs> yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or... Bod, yeah. Bod grown up. Like There's it, a little yeah. bit of Charlie Brown in there. Charlie He's even got a little striped shirt. It's perfectly rounded. It's balding, yeah. like to, and it's not. It's not a sort of like a a good balding. It's sort of like he looks like a worn <laughs> tennis ball. Do you yeah. know what I mean? He's got a little bit of growth. It's yeah. not that sort of Teddy De Teddy Savalas cool bald. No, it's just a scruffy little. I don't know what it mm. is. Happy it Christmas and that. <laughs> 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 what do you think of that then, Carl? Your introduction to the nation. Well, you know, if we're going to start picking on looks and stuff. Like you mentioned before, we can we can go over everyone in this room. What? I mean, let's make it fair. What? Let's have a chat. Let's have a chat about <laughs> about Steve over there. What? What are you talking about? Well, you know, you know how sort of I felt when I first saw you. Wait, wait, right! Don't go mad, Steve. Let Carl speak. Right, this is his platform. No, no, I'm but, just saying. You just but, said about painting a picture. Yeah, go on then. I wouldn't paint a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is what, is, no, I'm not, Steve, you know I'm not having a go, mate. What, you're a good, what you're, do you mean you're not having a go? It sounds like you're having a go. No. Well, what did you think when you first saw him, when he, when he first walked into that room all those years ago? Uh, sort of thought he looked like a cartoon. <laughs> not, 
No, no, Steve, <laughs> you know, you know, but you know that you look a little bit odd. This, this what? isn't like a, this isn't like a shock to you. <laughs> You've had this. How old are you now? Thirty-one. Right, but so I don't you're thir like thirty-one. I don't, I, I, what do you look like as a baby? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Why is this a character assassination? No, no, I'm, not, I'm not having a go. I'm just saying what it was like. Now, I'm, I'm used to you now. When I see you, I don't sort of double take anymore. <laughs> I just. He's coming out with this. No, but you know when, when you popped in and that, it was just a bit of a shock. And now you know I've, I've got used to it and that. Good, so. you're happy now. You can cope now. Yeah. Hold on. You were shocked when you saw Steve Merchant. You told me once you went to school with two fellas who had big heads and webbed hands and feet. Yeah. And they weren't related. Why- why were there two people about your school and yet you find Steve <laughs> freaky? You never said freaky. <laughs> <laughs> you said freaky. <laughs> you said freaky. <laughs> Carl, just- I- I- I don't wanna st I'm not stirring it, right? You- you started a little bit of a war with Steve. You, you always are have. stirring it. Well, no, 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 well, no. this is what- it, well, this is stirring right now. This is- this is the terminology. But, do you know that the fellas in your school yeah. The big heads and webbed feet and webbed hands. Webbed well hands. Yeah. But but they hung around together, did they? Uh, I don't think they did. And they were nothing to do with each other. No, I think people expected them to sort of knock about together, but they they must have thought, oh, that's, that'd be too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but where did you live near a power plant? Well, I mean, why why did you have? I don't think it had anything to do with that though. Just sometimes you get a little look at Steve. He didn't live near a power plant. <laughs> No, no, listen, can I just stop you there, right? No, let me just stop you there because I, I, it always happens as soon as we, we, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a nice day and suddenly you're having yeah, a go, right? Uh, I don't now, this has got, this got sent on the email, okay? Now, this is not me saying this. This is someone who's forwarded a review that was put, put on the web. It was a review of your appearance on one of Ricky's stand up comedy DVDs, okay? I'm reading, I'm quoting this. This is not me saying it. Mm -hmm. It says that, uh, Carl, through a combination of his intriguing way of thinking and slightly less than human appearance, Right, Carl may just be the proof needed to muffle the cries of creationists the world over, as this missing link demonstrates that not only did man evolve from apes, but the process isn't quite finished yet. <laughs> okay, now that's someone else, an external person's opinion of you. But you the, go the, the terrible thing about that is, Carl's feelings aren't hurt because he didn't understand a word of that. I said the word creationist, that lost that, it. That's it. You've got to remember that Carl, you know when um, people say they're talking to their cat and they go, oh look, look at him, look at it, it's like he can understand what we're saying. Well, Carl's got that look, but you know he can't. Can't understand yeah. what right. what you're saying. All right, Carl. Mm -hmm. No, but all I'm, I mean now we're now we're talking about your head and that. Right? When you go back to say your mum and dad, it's Christmas time, right? There's <laughs> a lot of people travelling <laughs> up and down the country, going back to the mum and dad. They probably haven't seen them all year, right? <laughs> when you go back, <laughs> is it a shock to them again? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do, do you know like how you get used to how someone like I say I'm used to you. I see you a few times a week. I don't <laughs> do the double take. But what I mean is when you go back, do they sort of go? Here he is. <laughs> Play record. This is it's I let's leave it then. Let's Ricky's move on then because I'm, 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 I'm gonna get angry and we haven't even got it's only it's not even <laughs> twenty five pounds. Oh, Christmas. A little bit of salmon and garfunkel. Yeah, oh yeah. this is beautiful. Carl, it was you that worked out the maths and worked out I was twenty eight. Because they just worked out I'm twenty seven. You are twenty seven. No way. Yeah, I told- I asked you, didn't I? And yeah, I said- because, no, but what I sort of questioned was, I said, well, if you're 27 today, that means last week you were 26. Well, well done, yeah. That's um, irrelevant. So, so therefore you assumed that I must be 28 then? Yeah. Whereas I- I assumed you were using, you know, your knowledge of maths, no, such as no, it is. No, I wouldn't do that. No, sure, sure. Wow. I, I actually got lost in that conversation because I didn't, I genuinely didn't know what he meant with, would mean last week you were 26. <laughs> I don't uh, know what that <laughs> I meant. I don't know what it meant. Wow. Well, it is Steve's birthday. And he would have been 26 last week. Ah. <laughs> so <laughs> tells you, uh, you genuinely frightened me because it's those staring eyes. There's nothing behind him. It's this little bald head. Looks like Davros looking at me. Genuine, just genuine fear on his face when he enters into a conversation with another human but what, being. What bit don't you understand? If he was, if he's 27 today, he would have been 26 last week, and he doesn't look 26. He didn't look 26 last week. He looks older than 28 today. You've started on, on his birthday, you're still having a go at him. Carl, I don't look like the kind of hot stud that I actually am, but face facts, that's the truth, <laughs> mate. Yeah, get live with, with it. it. Get with, live the with it. Get jeez. So, what have you been doing this week, Steve? Well, um, I'll tell you what, at the beginning of the week I was, um, incredibly annoyed by Carl. Why? Um, no, uh, well, no, because you, I remember you had a little discussion with Carl a while back saying that, um, you thought he was lazy at times. Yeah. And, you know, you had various criticisms of yeah, his, his, yeah, his work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I got a call from him, he said, uh, oh yeah, I should have told you, um, I had a phone call, someone said that they were trying to get hold of Steve Merchant to offer him some lucrative voiceover work. Now you know- That is money time. for old it's money rope. For rope. That's it's about, you're in there for about twenty minutes and it's thousands if of pounds. If there are children listening who are still at school, they should definitely, when the careers guy says, what do you want to do? Try and get voiceover, voice-over work. Work. Just become a voiceover artist. It's money for old rope. Yeah. So I can't believe my luck because yeah. you know I love money for old rope. Yeah. And um, I said, well, what was the information? He said, oh, oh, I don't know. I deleted the message. It was on his answer when he deleted the message. I said, right, when did the message come? He said, last week. So he took a week to tell me Why? that he had deleted the message. Why? Just because it wasn't for you. I mean, I don't know how selfish that is, Carl. Is that, no, what happened is, right? I got back a holiday. Mm. I was at home. Yeah. So I called up my voicemail. Yeah. Right, because I can do that. Yeah. Remote access, right? Because I've got to know what's going on at work. Of course. Called in. It was still my day off. I was going through the messages. Yes. Heard one from some company saying we're after Steve Merchant. Yeah. We want him to do some voiceover work. Yeah. Right. Mm. I can't remember the name of it, but Thanks. I thought right. I'll, I'll remember to tell Steve a week I later. It doesn't matter, does it? You still got the message, and they. they what, what, what message? Yeah, but voiceovers have to be done in the next. Couple but I didn't of days. get the message. I got all I got was there was a company I don't remember the name, and they phoned you. They wanted voiceover. Uh, well, how does that help me? There are hundreds of thousands of media companies. I, I you didn't take down a number. You didn't take down a name. Nothing. I, I was more puzzled why they'd want you to voice anything. <laughs> What? I no, but listen to that oh, voice. No, you must be annoyed. You must be you annoyed. Wanna, I mean, talk about rubbing salt into the wound. No, but listen to you. Oh, God. I don't know what you- I don't know how you think. I don't know what, how your mind works. Well, I was thinking there must be a tractor sail on somewhere. <laughs> I don't What mean, do I care? What's going no, on? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The I don't care. Turned. I don't care if they want me to advertise, you know, <laughs> the latest designs in pirate fashion wear. I will do a voiceover because it's money for the rope. I don't care what you think of my voice. Someone was interested. They were offering me money. And you decided arbitrarily, oh, they probably wouldn't want it. They probably made a mistake. I, they wouldn't like the way he talks anyway. I'll delete the message. No, the thing is, right, I what get if paid. Been a girl? I get paid to sit here on a Saturday, yeah. right? Play CDs and that, help out with the show, get you decent prizes. I think I, I, I do me bit. Sure. Right? It isn't about running your voiceover work. So hang on, so Carl, let me just get this right. If someone was ever to phone me, right, trying to get in touch with you, to offer you work, you'd want me to just ignore the message. That is what you're saying to me. You'd prefer that I deleted the message, I ignored it altogether. That's what you'd want for me to do. That's what you want me to do. What, someone's calling you for some Someone's phoned me. They say, oh, oh, I can't, I don't know, I, I, I'm a friend of a friend, I've got your number, Steve. Uh, I'd love to use Carl Pilkington for a, 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 an well, exciting sex scene. Well, you said call so has it happened? Has well, it happened? well, I'm saying in the future, if it was to occur, <laughs> if it was to occur, do you want me to just ignore it? Is that what you prefer me to do? Uh, well, it's not like that, though. I, I did tell you, I told you the message. You didn't tell- what? You told me a week later with none of oh, the information I needed. Carl, um, that doctor called last week, that kidney's ready for that, um, little girl that you were doing that sponsored walk for. I forgot to tell you. Oh. I have a still all right. They keep it on ice, don't they? I think they do. Uh, uh, oh, selfish, uh, Carl. So selfish. And you've lost us to say. Well, we went, I went out with a drink with Carl in the week and, uh, we went to uh, a restaurant, didn't we, Carl? Good night. And we sat there and next to me, when Carl came, next to me was, uh, um, what's his name? Ross Kemp. And, uh, he was sitting there and I saw Carl and I, I tapped him on the shoulder, Ross Kemp, and I, was, uh, and I pointed to Carl and I said, it's nice to see you two back together again. Nice. And Carl was horrified. But Carl didn't know that I'd already spoken to him before Carl arrived. Yeah, so yeah, was, yeah, I thought yeah. it was okay. I thought I could break the ice because I've met him before. Sure. So he just thought I was insulting him. And in the week we were talking about his head, his little head, weren't we, Carl? And Carl suddenly stopped the conversation and said, "If I had hair, what would we be talking about now?" <laughs> I think he had enough of everyone talking about it. He looked good though. He had it's, it's a special little do. He had it sort of, you know, cropped a little bit more. I like it when he's just freshly had it done. Mm. Do you like, yeah. has, has that ever happened to you, Steve? When you, if you're somewhere, say if you sat somewhere, does someone sort of, you know, is he anyone else who you look like, or <laughs> would you say you're a bit of a one-off? <laughs> I love these two. But, I, I, <laughs> but to be fair, it's <laughs> like it. But to, no, but, well, to be fair, uh, he seems to be having a go at me an awful lot more than I do at him. Now, I mean, he just starts it. You know, he I just think, starts it out I, of nowhere. I th yeah, I think I think his is sort of a get back for the way you treat him as a producer, not you know. But he's not a producer. <laughs> If he produced the show, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a reason to criticise. Uh, but I think this is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but God. I, seriously, I mean, it really winds me up because you know it started as a joke, but now it's just it's abuse. Yeah. 
it got annoyed at Heat because it said car producer. Well, not so much a producer as just a bald mank. And he yeah. went, "Can they say that? Yeah, can they say that?" See, that's a magazine, an independent publication. It's identified what exactly it is you do. Yeah. There we go. Then go on, bring it on. Because here we go. He's looking at me. I know he's thinking. I can no, hear the cogs. I'm not, I'm not thinking anything. It's true. Yeah, no, that that is true. Never <laughs> a true word. Play a record. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful bit of uh, Snoop on XFM, yeah? Mm -hmm. Kicking it with uh, yeah, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, 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 sweet, yeah, sweet, sweet. 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 Uh, Steve Merchant and uh, Carl Pilkington. Uh, what has happened to Carl? Because Carl, I thought, is, you know, is this sort of sweet little buffoon, almost childlike mm. in his, his ways. You know what I mean? Like Charlie Brown after some sort of head injury. And, <laughs> and now he's... And now he's coming back like that, having a go at- not- not caring about voiceover work. It's like- cause Heat have written about him a couple of weeks, it's like he thinks he's better than you in no, some well, way. I do care though, you're out of order saying that, right? Cause Carl, I've sorted you out with tickets for stuff. He Carl, doesn't turn up to. Carl, I received a phone call, you deleted the message offering me voiceover work, you're as bad as my agent. <laughs> I don't- I'm appalled by it. <laughs> and I thought we were friends. <laughs> ah, at least his agent, when he does it, is losing himself money as well. Yeah, he, you, he, you, he, exactly. You, you've got no comeback. You're still sweet, and to have a go is you. You've got a mank wine. Right. Her voice. Like a cartoon Gallagher brother on Coronation Street. I mean, and Steve's, I mean, yes, Steve does sound like a, a Wurzel, but that Thanks. doesn't, do you know what I mean? No, no. A, what about Jethro? Jethro does well. Jethro gets on Des O'Connor any time he wants. Just has to phone Des up. And he's on there. Straight on And there. he's whining like a Wurzel as well. So, you know, to say that that all is right, a what, rubbish- what, All right, apart from that then, what else have I done that's wound you up? Well, that's, that's, that's a, that's a good starting point. Because you haven't even apologised. No, it's a shock, because that's the first time I've let you down. And I didn't really let you down, because I passed on the message. You didn't- well, we've been through it. You didn't okay. pass on the message. Saying, I deleted a message for you, is not passing on the message. Yeah. I mean, I just think what's happened is that you've got a little bit of celebrity now from the show. I, I mean, I've seen you being yeah. recognised in pubs and stuff, or people have come up and they said, are you Carl? Because they've seen Ricky. Now, it just seems to me that you are not keeping yourself grounded. You are just, no. you cannot deal with fame, you've not got the intelligence to cope no. with the celebrity, oh. and you're just becoming no, this kind getting. of ego-driven no, monster. Getting. No, it's getting. No, it's it scares me, Carl. Getting You're not bit. the man I remember. Look, I, nice. I put a lot of work into this yeah. on Saturday, this isn't even my proper job, right? Mm. Where were you in the week? Oh, yeah, he's got you there. What? Where were you in the week? I said, I said, let's meet up, let's, you know, come up with some new features and that. Where were you? Carl, you phoned me yeah. about an hour before you wanted to meet. That is not what I would call. I mean, that, that is arrogance right there. That's the way I That's arrogance right there. That's ego right there. He couldn't, he couldn't go, but it, I, I, when I came in, he said, where's Steve? I said, Steve can't make it. I had to tell him why. Steve was staying in to tidy up because his landlady was coming. This, this he couldn't get over. He could not get over that you couldn't make it because you had to stay with your landlady. Is, is, he talked about it for about the hour when we were working. What are you talking, I, I, last week I had a bad throat, you yeah, wouldn't what, tolerate what that, you wouldn't accept that. About, when you had a bad throat, where, where were you? <laughs> Why couldn't we do any work then? Because you're at home with your mum and your dad. <laughs> you, you were on holiday, weren't you? <laughs> Why didn't you get your mum and your dad to clean the flat? Oh, he's done it again! He's hey. done you again, mate. Play a record. How has he done me? What? <laughs> they live in Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, the joke's on you. He couldn't get him to clean the flat. Ah! <laughs> I don't know who's laughing at who, then. <laughs> right, listen. Can right. we just go back to laughing at Carl? Okay. Because I know right. where we stand there. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Do you want to, uh, That's the natural order of things. <laughs> I know, yeah. The world's gone topsy turvy. <laughs> he's, he's stepped out of the pecking yeah. order. Right, well, someone who I don't let down, right, are the listeners of this show. <laughs> Do you want to, uh, read out the prizes for uh, Rockbusters? We'll, okay. we'll get that one in. Oh, we're are we not doing Rockbusters again, are we? Yeah. Well, it was a shambles last week. We, we cancelled it two weeks ago. What? Oh, uh, it just, I mean, there, there you are right there, Rick. I mean, both you and I, and let's be honest, we're the guys with, the, with our names on the poster. I know, it's yeah. It's supposed to be your show. And, and yet, our faces. Exactly, and yet. <laughs> we have to have, we have to be on tube stations with people laughing at yeah. us. Yeah, well, they're not laughing at me, really. They're, they're well, good I don't know. Better, what do you think people think of the poster, Carl? Seriously. Uh. No, I don't want to know his opinion. It's just going to be insulting. <laughs> My yeah, point is this, he was Rick. looking at you. My point is this, Rick. We used to be able to decide what the content of this show was. I know. Now it's him. It's just him. He wants to do Rockbusters. He gets to do it. I know. And it's it's awful, Robert. Like, like, uh, Tourette, Trent Darby. Not only is that offensive, it doesn't work as a clue. Saying that, have you come up with anything for this week? What's the prizes? Oh, we got the prizes. We've got.